Welcome to Bronte country. Apparently it's just down here. Oh, chickens. The Bronte sisters were Charlotte, Emily and Anne and they were born in Thornton, uh, a village now associated with this village uh, which is Hayworth or Haworth here in the West Riding of Yorkshire in England. The sisters were very close to each other and they shared a love of literature and writing. They began writing at a very young age, uh, often collaborating with each other while they worked. The Bronte sisters were known for their passion, originality and quite dark themes to be honest. Charlotte's novel, Jane Eyre, from 1847, is one of the most famous novels in the English language, while Emily's novel, Wuthering Heights, from 1847, is also a classic of English literature. Sadly, the sisters died very young. Charlotte died of tuberculosis in 1855, Emily died of cholera in 1848, and Anna died of consumption in 1849. All through their lives, they experienced tragedy, but their work continues to inspire people today. <coughs> I was told when I went in the museum that I wasn't allowed to, vi I could video things and take pictures, but I'm not allowed to put them on YouTube. <laughs> like they can stop people doing that. <laughs> yeah. This is a very cool graveyard. The graves are so old, it feels okay, just like standing in the middle of it. These guys knew how to do headstones. Look at them. They're so cool. Crows everywhere. And you can just sort of wander around really. Churches over there. Now the Brontes are actually uh, buried in the church. The three sisters, the whole family in fact, are underneath a pillar in the church. And uh, you can go in and there's like a pillar there that says below this pillar there lie the bodies. And just underneath is where the family, the, Br the Bronte sisters and the family are buried. It's kind of odd. I don't quite know why that's the case but there's nobody, the, the sisters aren't actually buried in here, and none of the family are. So they're in the church over there, which you can go and go in and have a look. And there's a little sign explaining where their bodies are, if that's the sort of thing you're interested in. Come and visit this place; it's so cool. One of the great things about this place is that you feel it's a little bit trapped in time, but. I think it feels a little um, depressing. Now, <laughs> it's not that everywhere I go, I, I find them depressing. What's kind of depressing is the reality of how it was uh, versus how it is now. It was so difficult to stay alive, you know? The, everything was so simple. Walking around the Brontes uh, parsonage, uh, they just didn't seem to have anything. I mean, it's all very nice and clean and it makes you think, was this really how it looked? It was, there's one room which is just like a mess of papers and drawings and, you know, it just looked higgledy-piggledy and that's probably more the reality of what it looked like because, you know, a chest of drawers and a bed, I mean, is that really all the clothes they had? Could, they could fit them in a chest of drawers. I might get my socks in a chest of drawers that size, but that's about it. But, I mean, as with everywhere, um, Haworth is a little bit commercialised now. I had a, sat down and had a, a Diet Coke with ice 
This little gem was three pounds fifty. Hmm. Um, and there's a lot of people buzzing about. It's very hard to find a little corner like this, so I've come into the cemetery. Which I would say is peaceful if the birds would shut up for a second. And it's the noisy birds, it's crows. I kind of like it though. All the gravestones are like from the 1800s. Just look and see this one here. 84 years old, the lady. I'm standing, sitting next to the grave of an 84 year old lady. Look, this lady here. Uh, Sally, the wife of George Ratcliffe. Died 16, 1870 in the 59th year of his age. Also Sally's wife who died September 21st, 1894. In the 84th year of her age, so she lived on for another, another 30 years after he died. It's definitely a place to visit. And it kind of, I think it's about a three and a half mile walk and you can go out onto the moors where there is a dilapidated ruins which of a building that inspired the the farmhouse that's in Wuthering Heights obviously written by uh, I can't remember Anne Bronte Emily Bronte um, I haven't read any Bronte stuff but um, when they first published it they did it they published them in men's names it's an incredible place to visit um, and it's, I think it's best to come to places like this when the tourists aren't here. And I've got kind of lucky with that. It's not been too bad, but it's very photogenic. Um, you've got to have a bit of stamina to clamber around the place because it is very steep hills everywhere. But um, I'm loving it. Right, well, from the graveyard in Haworth, the cemetery in Haworth, home of the Bronte sisters. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments down below if you've got any questions. Have you been here? Uh, if you haven't been here, let me know if you're planning to come here now and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I have. Till next time, take care yourselves. Bye-bye.